It was his duty as a priest to stay to the last. He knew his duty. These words spoken by his brother are about a man whose name should be counted among the heroes of history. Father Thomas Biles did his duty, staying on board the infamous Titanic even as it sank into icy North Atlantic waters. Father Biles' story is an example of a person who had the opportunity to save himself, was given the opportunity twice to have a seat in a lifeboat, but declined it both times and chose instead to remain behind. 15-year-old Benjamin Crosby has spent years researching this heroic priest. When Father Biles boarded the RMS Titanic headed for New York, he was the rector at St. Helens Church in Essex, England. April 14, 1912 was the Sunday after Easter. Father Biles had offered Mass earlier that day and was on deck to feel the deadly jolt as the iceberg ripped through the ship's hull. He rushed to alert the uninformed third-class passengers, then ministered to those who were about to perish. Many, many survivor accounts, uh, including, for instance, Charlotte Collier, who was a second-class passenger, uh, talk about Father Biles and uh, say that they either saw or heard him praying the rosary with a group of people as the ship sank. Pope Pius X, now a saint, praised Father Biles as a martyr. The current priest at St. Helens in Essex says that Father Biles should be sainted and is calling on the faithful to pray that miracles be granted through his intercession. The people of Brooklyn have a strong connection to him also. Father Biles was headed to this very borough. Father Biles was traveling to New York to, tra uh, to celebrate the wedding of his younger brother William. And the church he was planning on doing that at was the Church of St. Augustine. However, after it was made clear that Father Biles did not in fact survive, um, his brother William did end up getting married, although at a different church than originally planned. He and his wife were married at St. Paul's Church. Mm -hmm. And after the service, directly after the wedding service, a memorial service was held for Father Biles. Benjamin and his 17-year-old sister Katie are determined to spread the story of Father Biles and other heroic figures. Katie has already written two books, and she and Benjamin host the website, titanicheroes.com. They want to inspire their generation through stories of those who have gone before. Many people of our generation are purposeless. They, they don't really think about being heroes. They don't think about doing the right thing. Rather, they just do what they think feels good. And so stories like Father Biles and stories of uh, other heroes on board the Titanic, we feel, can inspire people to not be purposeless, but instead to find a purpose and to act like these heroes in today's day and age. Preaching at Mass just before tragedy struck, Father Biles warned against getting lost in a spiritual shipwreck in times of temptation, advising all to use the life belt of prayer and the sacraments so that their souls might be saved. Reporting for Currents, I'm Katie Breidenbaugh.